I'm just going to show you my makeup basket for this coming week. And then first I'm going to show you what products I'm taking out from last week. And I'll have last week's link below just in case you uh, want to look at it. I'm going to take out the NYC Mosaic Blush and the color Pink Cheek Glow. I like it. I'm just, I'm like, I'm just want to alternate each week because I've got so many blushes. I want to try them all. So I'm taking that one out. I'm taking the big step and taking the Maybelline Highlight, highlight out in Pink Rose. And again, I'm going to take out the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. And I've got another one I'm going to re replace it with. I'm taking out this NARS uh, Sex Fantasy blush. Like I said, again, I don't, I don't name these. <laughs> and I'm going to take out the Milani Fruit Punch uh, lipstick. And I also am taking out the CoverGirl. The it was a more purplish color. It's the one I had on going to Loretta Lynn concert, but it's in my purse. Because uh, I, I needed to touch up that night. So I'm also taking it out. I'm taking out this Too Faced pencil. Because when I did wear it. I don't know. I do know you're supposed to sharpen these. Every time you use it again. To make sure you don't have any bacteria on it. So maybe I didn't do that. But one of my eyes really did burn and stuff. So I wasn't for sure. So on the caution side. I'm going to take it out. And I'll add it back in again. But next time I'll make sure that I sharpen it. And if I still get a red eye, then I'll know that I need to discard this. I'm taking out the Color Tattoo and Lavish Lavender. I'm going to take out this, this Candylicious Lime Gumdrop uh, Lip Balm. Because I just had it in here for so long and I, I want something different. So I added something different this week. And I'm taking out... The Positions Formula Little Eyeshadow Palette. I did enjoy this palette. It was nice, but I did have to use, you know, that uh, my Self Made Z palette with the Mac and Makeup Geek and Inglock shadows in it. Um, well, I used the Mac shadows as for the base, the transition colors and crease colors mostly. But I did really enjoy this. Now let's get into what I'm going to have keep in, or keep and added to my makeup basket this week. Okay. Well, the first thing on top, I'm just going to go over what's on top, not in any order, is this is the first Urban Decay uh, palette I ever received. As you see the butterfly on it, and if you know me and you've watched my videos, you know I'm obsessed with butterflies. I got this for my birthday for my husband. I'll, just bend, I'll open it up and show you the colors. Here is the colors that's in it. So as you can see, they're kind of some are the kind of sh <laughs> shimmery. So I am also going to keep my Z palette that with my Mac and Makeup Geek and Inglock shadows in, just in case. I which most I'll only be using, you know, these neutral colors for transition in uh, brow bone or however else that is needed out of this palette. I would love to get me new, I need to get me one of those Urban Decay Basics palettes so I wouldn't have to worry about that. But then again, that's what I bought these for, so. Okay, so then I added in my Narcissistic uh, Cheek Kit. It's got the uh, bronzing, uh, see if I can remember. I don't think it tells me the colors in here but I, and I can't remember the name of the bronze Laguna Laguna and uh and and the course their uh NARS famous orgasm uh blush again I didn't name NARS blushes they they do make you blush uh I'm gonna try their bl uh, bronzer and this uh the orgasm blush and I can't remember what this highlighter color is uh I don't think it tells me on the back here, but here, I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. Here's the Laguna Bronzer. There's the, Ar the Orgasm Blush. As you can see, it's not, 
it's not you, it, in the pan it looks like it's gonna be whoa but when, it, when you put it on your cheek it's not and I think this other color is actually supposed to be a highlight and it is pretty but I don't know if you'll be able to see it can you see on there so that is a pretty highlight so I got that oh I forgot to put the little because I ha had this in my cabinet this thing was expensive so I need to pull this stuff out and use it so I got that and I also added in the Mary Illuminizer, or so what's it called, Mary Lou Manonizer, Manonizer Highlight, just in case that other highlight I didn't like. This is an awesome highlight. I mean, if you want a highlight, and it don't take much either, it gives you a highlight. Well, it would if I could, if I was good at swatches. Could you see that? How I see it is like, whoa. So you have to be careful with it. But I did add that in there in case I did need another highlight. Okay, and then I also, my other blush is this Lancome kit that I have. And I know Liz uses Lancome all the time, and I always, keep, and I not forget to bring this out. Is this not a beautiful blush kit? And I'll swap, let me swatch these for you. I'll do it on my arm here. The middle color is that woo that is beautiful but I'm definitely going to have to be careful on her. And then I'll show you which colors are white after I swatch them. Oh that's pretty. And then the lightest color one which I'm sure is supposed to be is meant for your highlight. But you can't hardly see that light is going. Let's see if I can swatch it another place where you can see it. I'm not sure. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Anyway, so here is that middle color. There. So the other color and then the highlight color. But it, I look forward to using it. Okay, and then for my primer again, I'm I'm almost finished with my Smashbox of uh, uh, pore minimizing primer. And no, I'll be honest with you, when I finish with this and I finish with the benefit that I have in here, I will be buying the Dr. Brandt pores no more because it's only like six dollars higher than this one, and it works so much better and I haven't really found a drugstore one that has worked as good so if, so if I purchase uh, uh, any of the primers that I'm using right now it would be the Dr. Brandt one and then I have the other sample the Benefit Professional I do like this just Dr. Brandt works a little bit better to me and then my eye primer is actually, well, I left it in the Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance. It worked really well. I really did like it. I, for, I forgot uh, how good it is. And I also left in the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. I always have that in, I'll always probably have it in there. This is just such a generic color. Okay, now I did put in, since as you've seen in the Urban Decay, uh, uh, eyeshadow palette had so many different bold colors. I did put in the Cool Crush, like the monochrome color tattoo, and I left in the Inked in Pink. I added the Barely Branded, which is like the you know the tan, the light tan, and I added back in the Toughest Taupe, which is just the taupe color. I also left in the Smashbox just Jellicone uh, primer in case I need it. Because sometimes that Smashbox primer, it's not as creamy as the Dr. Brandt or the uh, Professional. So sometimes I have to use this on the outside of my face. Is it just to make my makeup feel go on smoother. Okay, and to replace that other lip balm, I'm going to use this Burt's Bees. I use Carmex all the time. I have one by... Uh, my chair and, and in my bathroom 
but if when I'm in the makeup room for some reason I don't have one in there so I'm always I use that little green one so I pulled out this Burt's Bees in case I need it okay and for my eyebrows of course I'm gonna leave in the Anastasia uh, dip brow you know and I actually kind of enjoyed this last week I think the more you use it the better you you get at it the more you do like it and I also am leaving in the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Maybelline Definer Brow. As for my foundations, again, the Lorac Perform Breakthrough Performance and my MAC uh, Studio Sculpt. And I'm also finding that Evidently, before when I used this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, I must have been using too much because I found I just put just the tiniest bit on my fingers and then warm it up together and then apply it under my eyes. It really does work, and I really did like it. So I'm going to leave that in there for this week. For setting powder, I'm going to use the just keep the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in there. For the under eye setting powder, I'm going to leave the Tarte Smooth Operator in there. I have the Elf Lip Exfoliator just in case I need to exfoliate my lips before I do any kind of lipstick. And as for mascara, girls, I really do like this It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. Most especially the wand. There's things I like about it and things I don't. I love the wand for that little ball on the end. It really does help separate your lashes. And I really do like the way it looks. But it don't add enough volume and plus the the actual little wand is kind of wobble, kind of weak and wobbly but I do love it paired with my Maybelline Sensational I use that to separate in this to, to volumize my lashes and I really liked it and of course I always have my, uh, my cream brulee to put on an all over base powder base for my eyes and the wet and wild uh, sugar for the brow bone if I need it. And there's my Anastasia. I didn't even use this, I don't think, last week. But I used, uh, I think I accidentally used my, <laughs> my MAC Pro Wear <laughs> concealer to do under my eyes. And I should have used this because this is what was in my basket. So, i got to make sure I use this and not my MAC this week. Okay, for my eyeliner pencil, I'm replacing that Too Faced two place, two face one with Urban Decay 2470, which is just a black. And I know this one does great, great on my eyes and didn't turn my eyes red. So, like I said, on these pencils, you're supposed to really sharpen it each time after each use or before each use to make sure you get any bacteria off the tip and not into your eyes. And I left in the Rimmel gel eyeliner i like it i mean i think it was it smear it would smear easier than uh the inglot but on, on the good side of that when you go to take it off and it doesn't take as much to get it off but and it really does stay on unless you force you lay down then it's going to smear where the inglot didn't but but i still i'm gonna leave it in here and use it and now for of course i leave my stella because this is the only kind of upper lid eyeliner I would use if I use it. I did use this when I went to Loretta Lynn concert. But I usually don't do the upper lid on an everyday look. or That's usually something special. Now for my lips, I left in the Beat MAC Beat Lip Pencil. I'll promise next week I'll find another lip liner <laughs> and put in there. I just, I'm kind of stuck on this lip liner there. And I left in my Milani two lip glosses. And I did take out, you know, those other lip, uh, lipsticks. I, I want to try this balm. I've heard people say that it was good. I got the Ipsy bag. And some people said that it dried their lips up real bad. So I do want to give it a try. So I'll put it in the bag. And then the other lipstick I put in there is the Too Faced. And it's called uh, the Fuchsia Shock. Which, as you see... Let me see. Well, I got eyeshadow on here, but maybe you can. I can go over and see. There's the color of it. So I'm I'm going to use it. 
And then this is out of the uh, L'Oreal Collective Preview co Collection. This is J-Lo's. This is the color that, that I call J-Lo. And, and that's that color. That's just like a pretty nude kind of color. And I'll be able to use that with either lip gloss or on its own. Because these are really moisturizing. These are not drying. And, but, so, lip glosses, because I, I like lipsticks to be moisturizing. I do not like drying lipsticks. I'm not a matte lip girl. Okay, so that is my makeup basket for this week. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I want you to know, this is really, I love doing this makeup basket. It's making me make sure I go through all my makeup and use it. And it's helping motivate me to use makeup more and put makeup on more. Which, when I put makeup on, I feel like doing more things. I don't know. I just, I guess I feel better about myself. So it makes me more motivated to do more, more things. So I will talk to y'all later. And thank you for joining me. And I hope you start your makeup basket. If you have, uh, leave a, uh, tell me below. Or you can put a picture on Facebook and tag me in it. My Facebook and all my social media, uh, is, is below the description bar and let's let's connect and let's become friends bye